Retirement came for David Peake in 2002. It closed the book on 40 years in the saddle, on tracks in New Zealand and around the world. And naturally for the jockey regarded by his peers as the ultimate professional, Peake went out a winner. Drawing away now, Country Fair, and David Peake caps off a tremendous career by a length and a half. Second young Prince. There must have been mixed emotions for the resilient jockey and his family at the time, reviving memories of other successful rides in a great career. As he unsettled that last time, he might have recalled doing the same on Bay Abbey at Piroa in 1962, his first winner. Peake was so small he went straight to ground after removing the lead filled saddle. Trainer and mentor George Cameron had to ask the steward's permission to help retrieve his young apprentice from under the load. Peake's interest in horses and racing was slow to develop. It was eventually inspired by his sister Yvonne joining a pony club. Peake had a natural affinity with horses and was leading apprentice with 29 wins in his last year. He then had a stint in Australia before returning to one of his great moments on the track. Terrific, with Grenville Hughes in the saddle, was the hot favourite for the 1967 Auckland Cup. The young peak was sent out on Royal Sheen, with the trainer's message to stick close to Hughes. Peak followed the plan to the letter, and his idol was bemused to find the new boy edging him after a fierce duel to the line in one of the most memorable Auckland Cups. A particularly proud moment for Peak post-race was appearing on the front and back of hoofbeats in the same issue. The 1970s is an absolute treasure trove for peak memories. He won the Jockeys Premiership five times, although he had to share it with Noel Harris in 1972-73. It was a decade when Peak joined forces with the legendary Ray Verner, a time when the stable was filled with champions such as Good Lord, Turf Cutter, Prince Majestic and Blue Blood. Peak and Verner had a good relationship, but the jockey was a bit miffed when he wasn't allowed to ride Good Lord to victory in the 1977 Wellington Cup. So he made sure of a big victory with one of three Telegraph handicap wins on Blue Blood. It was a different story the following year when Peak was on board Good Lord for the second Wellington Cup. A few months later, the horse, campaigning in Australia as my good man, brought Peak one of his biggest thrills in racing, the Sydney Cup. The high perno, but it's all my good man with a hundred meters left to go. He's a mighty stayer. My good man is careering away, and he wins the Sydney Cup in a breeze by five. To it was a magnificent win, but the jockey still had to explain to the boss why the winner returned with white paint all down one side. Australian Hall of Famer Darby Munro tried to keep Peak and his mount trapped on the rails, but he escaped to claim the biggest win of his career. Another fond memory of the time was a date with royalty. A win on Good Lord at Tarapa brought a meeting with Queen Elizabeth. Peake and Werner were a formidable combination. Not only did Peake claim his fifth Jockeys Premiership in the 1977-78 season, but he cracked the century for the first time with 107 winners. He was the leading jockey for the 70s with 794 wins, including five wins in a day for Werner at Pukekohe. Fitness was the key to Peake's form and longevity in racing. He regularly ran the hills around his home and loved to get out on the cricket pitch with other jockeys when given a chance. Success also brought international invitations and opportunities to ride against some of the best in the world. Peak competed in Japan, South Africa, Singapore, Hong Kong, the United States and Rhodesia. Peak rode turf cutter to a third in the Caulfield Cup and a sixth in the Melbourne Cup and had other success in Queensland. To go and he's got them beaten. Quadrado's too good. Quadrado first, tight second and third. Another notable milestone along the way was his final jockey's premiership, 1982-83, when he broke Bill Skelton's record of 127 in a season. 1,000 winners was a proud milestone, but Peak had his eyes on the very exclusive 2,000 club. He's found a little more. Knock Robin doing best though. Knock Robin went to the post to beat Outlandish Paris Trout third from Juice. Peak was still the most regular track work rider at Tuckanini, but the mounts on the bigger name horses were harder to come by in the following years. Race day would still find him saddling up, not in pursuit of more records, but purely for the enjoyment of race riding. When Peak unsaddled that last winter in 2002, it took his career total to 2085. Sitting on the shelves at home were proud mementos of his biggest wins in Sydney, Auckland and Wellington Cups. And of course, there are the six jockey premierships. 
Retirement also brought acknowledgement of his success at one of his favorite tracks, Ellerslie. 392 winners over 40 years saw him join some illustrious company as an Ellerslie legend in 2005. Peak rode in an era that included many champion jockeys. He was their equal in skill and dedication. They knew that Peak would never give up, that it was always a race to the finish line. And it's that tenacity demonstrated over 40 years that now sees David Peak take his place in the Racing Hall of Fame.